You're probably familiar with joysticks and sliders. It's a wildly popular tool for rigging character poses like this. We are gonna be using a section in it called switch templates, which are basically gonna allow us to flip between images in a stack depending on where the slider is. This can be really good for a lot of things like eyes, nose, mouths. We're gonna use it to rig up a character head made out of images. The end result will look something like this. This is how I was able to make this kind of stop motion style skull for a motion collab Halloween loop. So if you wanna grab joysticks and sliders, I got a link for you in the description. And if you like what you see here, then let's get into the video. So now before we dive into After Effects, let me just break this down, how this is separated in Photoshop, this could be Illustrator or or however you want to just kind of break these layers out. So I just have a Photoshop document of all the different poses that I want to use for this. So in this case, they're all just different skulls. I have a tilt upright, tilt down, tilt up straight, forward, three quarters left, three quarters right, profile right, profile left, etc. The The names of the layers don't matter. This is just for my own reference. And, you know, these don't have to be, these don't have to be full heads. They could be, it could just be a mouth. It could be eyes, nose. It could be anything that you could think of. It could be, I'm just going to do a full head right now just to kind of keep it simple to, to wrap your head around and because I already I already did this project so it makes it easy to make a tutorial about and just for reference I grabbed these images off of this internet archive the BBC released something like five five million photos um, that you can just download and use for free might want to check the licensing on that um, these really great archival images so that's where I got all of these skulls really great I will link to this so once you have all of these layers ready to import, then you can open up After Effects and create a new composition. And this one is just gonna be for our skull. Again, all we're doing is rigging a head right now. That's all we're gonna worry about. So first thing I wanna do here is I'm just gonna make a something to reference uh, the head to create a slider. We gotta make a slider first. So I'm just going to make a circle here, put it in the center. Let's align this to the center here. Get this anchor point centered up here. Turn on snapping. Where does my anchor point go? Get this anchor point in the center just for my own sanity. Now to create a joystick, you need to create the five uh, key poses, which are going to be origin, right, left, up, down. And, that, um, and then the joystick basically does everything else it like it like interpolates everything in between some something like that who knows so what we got to do is uh, open up the position and we're going to make five keyframes the first five keyframes are going to be those points the first one will be the origin then you click this button sets the origin point and then we got to go to the right so let me go over like 10 keyframes i mean 10 uh 10 10 tabs over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just for some easy math, right? And then I'll go over again and go back to the origin and then go to the left. And then we want to go up. Right? Is that what my notes say? Up, yeah. And then finally we want to go down. Alright, so these are our our five poses here. And if you've done this correctly, then you just grab all of these um, keyframes and you know, you could obviously add on some rotation and all that stuff, but we don't need to do that for right now. You can always add that stuff in later. We're just focusing on the switch template, okay? So now we're gonna create a new joystick by clicking this button, call this whatever you want. This is fine for me. And now we have a joystick that's gonna do something like this. Let me turn off snapping. Something like this. Beautiful. All right. So now what I need to do is I need to get my images in here. I go back over to my project, import my images, 
my head rig layers. I want to import all of the images here, all the layers, obtain their sizes and import them, not merging anything. Great. So now I have all of these layers in here. What I want to do is I want to dump in all of these layers. You know, these could be layers. They could, they could be compositions. They could, it could really be whatever you want them to be. It's pretty flexible, but you got to dump them all into this comp that has the uh, joystick in it, okay? So we're gonna do that. Dump all these layers in here. Doesn't matter what it looks like. It's not pretty right now. And then we're gonna click this button, create switch template, okay? We'll create it, name this whatever you want. I will name this, I'll just add skull to the beginning. Skull switch template, great. All right, so it looks like nothing happens, but what it does is it creates a new composition over here skull switch template i'm going to click into this and now this is empty so what we need to do is we need to drag all of those same layers into this composition and now what you got to be aware of is you can't change any layers in here you can't change any of the names if you do that then the link is going to break okay so if we go back to our other um our main composition here, and I believe you have to do it in this composition, you wanna click this button to connect this switch template. And so if you move this around now, you'll see nothing is gonna happen. And I'm gonna go ahead and just hide this um, shape layer here. That doesn't matter, we don't need it, but keep it there. So now nothing's happening, but we're getting closer. So I'm gonna go back into the switch template here, and now we can start laying stuff out. So I'm gonna just make this comp a little bit bigger. The size of the comp doesn't matter. It's okay if things are getting cut off. It's okay, we can scale these all down a little bit. It's all right. And we just wanna now like lay out all of these layers in a logical way that the joystick would interact with them. So my three quarters left, will be a little bit to the left. My three quarters right, a little bit to the right. Forward, keep it in the center. Profile left, should be all the way to the left. Profile right, should be all the way to the right. Tilt up to the right, should be all the way up and to the right a little bit. Are you, you getting the idea here? So we'll just lay these things out like this, cool. Tilt down, should be in the center like this. All right, tilt up. And you know, I'm overlapping them a little bit. This is this will be good, this will look good. And tilt up in the center. I'm actually missing a layer, I think. Uh, no, I think I got them all, okay. So now if I go back now, what will happen if I did this right, is that when I move this, it'll now switch to, where everything is laid out logically. So it looks like this is working as it should. So now you, this uh, anything that ha you do in here, if you rotate these or scale them up or down, it's not gonna change out here. So anything you wanna do to these, you do, you do it out here. If I wanna scale all these down, scale them down, rotate them, do it in this main composition, okay? So, that's, uh, that's pretty much how you rig up a switch template. So now what I could do is I could add a little bit of animation to this. Let's just say I want this to kind of do a little, a little uh, look aroundy, a little look see. You know, I'll just animate this, uh, this little control layer like this. Give the skull a little look see, something like this. All right now it's looking around. It's not great, but. Cool, something like this, right? That's doing a little, a little looksy loo. And if I, you know, can do something like drop this skull into its own composition, those layer, those uh, slider controls are not going to show up through this because they are guide layers, so they are invisible unless you change them off of guide layers, and then you can get them to appear in the render. And then, you know, I would just do something like to make all of these images feel more cohesive. You just can start adding effects to all this stuff, add a black and white, 
and bring the levels closer together and you know do all this good stuff so that it looked like I actually tried to make this stuff feel cohesive. Maybe add a posterize on here, bring this down to like three so that everything is only made up of three or two possible colors. Mm, not great either. I don't know. So yeah, this is a that's a very quick overview of this uh, tool and the possibilities of it. There are a ton of possibilities. Very curious to see how far people can take this, especially when it comes to doing mouths, eyes, um, anything with image sequences. This is just the surface. So let me know if you want me to dive deeper into this tool. I think there is tons here. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. And yeah, thanks for watching. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.